everybody. My name is Brenda and welcome to Tangle Break. Today is Fragment Friday and we're going to be working with Fragment F2 to make this very cool tile. So let's get started. We're going to be using the eight basic steps of the Zentangle method. Step number one is gratitude and appreciation. I am thankful for the time we're able to take a break from our day to day to draw these fun structured patterns and for the supplies that we're going to use, which are a Micron 01 pen, a Micron PN pen, a pencil, and a tortillon. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, and your white uh, three and a half inch tile. All right, so now let's get started. Okay, the next step is corner dots. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my dot. I take my pencil and just bring it in about the width from um, the part of the pencil that you can see, it's just sort of as a guide. Okay, and then the next step is a border. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my Micron 01 pen, just to save me a step. Sometimes I go ahead and put the border in, the first border in with pencil, but today I'm gonna go ahead and just do it with pen to save some time. So I'm going to take my pen here and just connect the dots. And this is all I have to do for the border. For the one we're doing today, since it's Fragment Friday, we're going to be doing a, um, a grid. So we're going to just keep on doing with the grid. We're going to go to halfway across and bring it down. Do half of this and bring it down. Half of this one and bring it down. Okay, now I'm going to turn my tile. Half of this one, bring it down. Half of this one, bring it down. Half of this one, bring it down. Okay, and your square is don't have to be perfect, it looks more homemade when, it, when they're not. Okay, for the next part, the tangle is going to be this fragment right here. And sometimes when we do Fragment Fridays, we alternate or rotate the um, fragment or mirror it or do different things to give a cool effect. Today, to get this effect, which is like a 3D, it looks like these are raised and lowered on each other. We're just going to do it all in one, one um, position. So let's go ahead and get started with that. We're going to go from the top corner, right hand corner, come out and just do a swoop and that's it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do all of them on this row just to make it easier. Sometimes when you're in the the mode, it just gets you started to relaxing. And then go around in here. Okay, I'll just show you the first line, the first row, and then we can just fill in the rest. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do the top things here. And so it's aura. Aura means to stay the same distance. So you sort of just like echo it. That's all I'm doing. Just making the aura. And then here. And then on this one. Now we're going to make this like the square popping out. So I'm going to look and see the distance here and I'm just going to go and stop at the same distance and then come down. Okay. I'm going to go across about the same distance and come down about the same distance. And cross and down. And cross and down. And that's it. Okay, I'll go back and color these in at the end 
and um, we can just relax now. So let's do it again. We'll start, you can do it from the top, bottom left to the top right, or the top right to the bottom left. I think I'm going to go this way this time. I'm going to just go, you could just curve it and land. Curve it and land. Curve it and land. Curve it and land. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just do all of it. All my one strokes. You just get the flow going here. Curving and landing. And that's it. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and do my R's on each curve. Let's see how I can I do this so that you can see. I'll move it. I'll move my hand a little bit so you can still see it. Let's do this one row here. And I've got it turned sideways just because it makes it easier to do at this angle. And I'm just trying to keep them all the, about the same width apart. Okay, and then go on down to the next one. Last row. Make sure you can see. So now we go through and do our squares that are tucked up underneath this little hood kind of thing. So now I'm going to do it the same way. Come here and then come down, go across, come down, go across, come down, go across and come down. Okay. Okay. Across. Come down. Across. Come down. Go across. Come down. Go across. And come down. Okay. Cross. Last row. Cross and come down. Cross and come down. Cross and come down. Across and come down. And that's it. That's all you have to do for your drawing. Now we're just going to color in and shade. Okay. So I'm going to switch out and get the pen pen. Just because it's got the uh, wider nub on the end, and it just takes the color in, or yeah, just a little bit faster. If you don't have a pen, that's fine. You can do it with the O1 or any other one you might have. And all we're going to do now is fill in each of these. little squares that peek out. So enjoy the coloring and listen to the music as you take your break for the day.
Can I just turn my tile to make it easier? Since your tile is so little, it just makes it easy just to rotate it back and forth to make the shading or the coloring or the drawing easier because the whole purpose is to relax. And then at the end of your break, you've got a very cool piece of modern, a mini modern art piece. And so somebody described it to me one time. I'm like, yeah, I can see that. A little mini modern art. Okay, first row is done. We've got three more. So keep keep relaxing. Okay, this one is done. This row is done. And I can see on the computer screen here um, that some of the times the little white specks will still show. So always know you can go back and touch those up whenever you want to. We'll keep going for now. Go to the next row. We're almost, well, we're halfway done of this. And then we'll just have to shade, which makes it all pop. So you can, it looks like um, these little squares are coming out from underneath this little rounded hood here. So I think it looks pretty cool.
Let me see, I just keep flipping my towel around. And then the last one. Well, the last row. Not the last one, the last row. Okay, all right. Now, the next step, put this away, is shade. So take your pencil, and what we're gonna do is make it look 3D-ish. So I'm gonna do it on the, over top of the corners of where it looks like, it's like a cone shape. So that's where I want it. So like to your left of each fragment and on the top. So on the left and the top of each fragment. So the left and the top. And I'm doing it on the inside of the lines. And we'll go over it with a tortillon to smooth it out. But this is going to give you the look that it's um, coming out. The little square is hidden underneath. So what we're going to do is on the left of every fragment and across the top. On the left and across the top. On the left and across the top. And then I'll show you the outside also so that it looks like it's coming off of this tile. Left. And I'm doing a little bit heavy um, just so that you can see it with the lights and all. So you can do whatever amount you want to do at home. I'm just doing it to make sure you see it. Left and across the top. Left and across the top. Okay. So now what I want to do, I want to make sure that it still pops out. So I'm just going to do a little shading on the outside of the whole thing on this side. So that it looks like the little white areas are a little bit raised. I'm not doing anything on the top here because I want it to look like it's underneath. I'm not doing anything on the top here because I want it to look underneath. And I'm going to go across the bottom because I want it to look raised. So it looks like it's sort of tucked into your paper. Okay, you can put your pencil down, get your tortillon out, and just, you can go in like little circles, 
and just sort of smooth it all out. And then with the smudges, it just makes it more of a shadow look and it makes it pop. Let's try not to get on the, oops, way off the screen. <laughs> I was getting into my shading. So then, you want it to look like it's curved and tucked curved and tucked out under the one above it and it will give you that look and then you can come around in the corner if you want to also just give it that rounded look so I think the pencil mark the pencil just torty on just gives it gets rid of the pencil lines gives you that finished shaded look is what you want you just want it to look like shade you don't want it to look like pencil all right now if you want to if you still have time go like right here at the edge where it would go under at these corners here I think it just sort of finishes it off. So it looks like it's, it is going underneath there. Okay. I like how it looks like it's raised. Each, it's almost like you put card, rows of cards in there. It's pretty cool. All right, that is fragment F2. Now the next part is initial and sign. Uh, for initialing and signing, you they call it a chop when you come up with your initials. I like to do B and then I turn it and my S is connected just like a like a little tangle design. Okay, you can play around with it and I turn it because you turn your tile so much I thought it'd be fun to have my chop turning. Okay. Now we're gonna sign the back. From the tangle break, and this is whoop, got sideways on a fragment F2. Some people put the date down of the one they're doing, whatever you want to do. And then the last step, step eight, is appreciate again, and uh, they say you can can't really see me do it but you can hold it out at the end with your arm see it at arm's length to see what it looks like you can uh, even though we saw it we, we put our chop on this side you can turn it and I mean it gives you all kinds of different feeling looks to it so this is a fun one an easy one a fun one and you know I always love to look for the 3d effect so uh, our break is over and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time on Tangle Break. Bye for now.